Multidisciplinary. I can't even say the word. No, most multidisciplinary. Like Michelle, she she just acted. She just acted at a French festival. Ago. Yeah. Yeah. She's also screening her film at the center later tonight. Okay. So she's now a filmmaker, musician, singer. Do you draw too? <laughs> she draws nudes, everybody. Check us out at 167 Augusta. It's called Kapisan Philippine Center. And once again, welcome to Cultura. Cultura Festival, right on. Third annual. Third annual. You know, and I just realized that they do uh, massages in the, in the side yes. too. Yes, $5 massages. If you want If you want to go check it out. Five minutes in heaven. Five minutes in heaven for $5. Just around the corner. You, you, can, you can also get a haircut. You for can get your hair did for ten dollars if you're a guy. Get your hair did if you're a girl for twenty bucks. <laughs> and once again, if you want to eat a corn, uh, corn right beside me, corn. <laughs> if you want to eat a corn, <laughs> I want to eat a corn. Oh. And um, I work with them actually at Chopsies. Chopsies. Um, <laughs> okay. Rose Street. All right, guys. Rose Cortez. Well, anyways, um. I first saw them perform at a mic night at Chopsies, and um, why not bring them here at Cultural Festival, right? So, here they are, Mark, Billy Moore, and Michael, and they're called Soul Disciples. Go, guys! Hello, everybody. Uh, Thanks for having us at this cultural night all day. So I hope everybody's having a good time. Uh, if you guys don't know, my name is Mark Villamore, and that's my twin brother, Mike. We're gonna have to change the set because our record is not long. <laughs> That's short act. So they pretend to be uh, wash like uh, lavanderas. Yeah. Well, they were just saying that uh, there's more to just the you know the lavandera because they are they have uh, they know most about, most about you. Uh, oh, because they wash everything, yeah. your intimate yeah. clothes and. Yeah. But they are not like they, you, you allow them entry through your side door, or your back door. But there is more to her than just being a washerwoman. Oh really? Yeah. Oh shoot, stop us. Here we go. Oh, 
so beautiful, baby. Everything can be played. It's a lucky place. It's a perfect shape. Put my hands on your waist. Girl, got me wanting, got me shining, got me blinded. I'm in denial. Never seen such a sight. The way I think I'm controlling you. Yes, I would. Yes, I should. Cause it's so damn beautiful. So beautiful, beautiful, baby. Oh, you're so. Cultura and what? What were you trying to do in this festival? Okay, Cultura is a Filipino arts festival. We're in our third year this year. Um, basically, this festival is just to feature young. Filipino Canadians um, doing all different types of arts. So we've got visual artists, we've got musical performances, we have Filipino playwrights um, reading their plays that they've written, um, we have Filipino filmmakers with their short films, so we're going to have a screening of that, and other visual artists that are in our gallery at the center, um, indoors. And then our, the food is also a couple of young chefs, Sean Santos and um, Charles Ortiz, uh, they have a company called Bloom Catering Events and uh, they do Filipino fusion and it's gourmet and so that's our food for today. Okay, so this is its third year mm -hmm. and uh, so you're hoping to continue this to promote uh, Philippine culture to the mainstream? Yep. Because this is like a Bellevue Park, right? Yep, so this is Bellevue Square Park. We chose Kensington uh, in particular because of the diversity of the community. Right. And so we want to contribute the Filipino-ness. And uh, yeah, so we do it in the park so that the broader community within the Kensington Market neighborhood can also see what the Filipinos are up to. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like this idea. And it's actually a very nice weekend to do uh, an outdoor festival. Yeah. So, uh, but these artists, they're all with Kapisan and Center. They're all signed up or... Not you're... necessarily. I mean, some of them, yeah, for sure. And some of them we just meet, you know, like we put a call out to the public and, uh, and they respond, usually just on Facebook. Yes. Or friends of friends and that kind of thing. So people just come and then they, they get involved with Kapisan and after they come because they see that we have a huge facility for people to do art in. We have a full recording studio inside, we have video editing suites, we have photography equipment, we have a huge studio space, performance space, rehearsal space, and um, yeah, so people, the artists that come to Kapisana really like it. Yeah, I've been there and I'm glad that you have, you even had like a parole making workshop yeah. last year, yeah. and uh, hopefully, yeah, I think Kensington Market is the right place for multicultural activities. Mm -hmm, for sure. Anyway, so thank you, Carolyn, thank for you your so uh, talk on the Cultura Festival, and I hope that it will continue through the year. <laughs> oh, hi! What happened to be here? Do 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 do
for uh, Capisana and all the uh, amazing work they do for the youth and the community and arts and music and everything. Stick around. Sign up on our mailing list. How's you Justin doing with the graffiti? There. Graffiti. Justin's... Ju for evolution! Say hey! 